Right, urgency. 13 months on. I mean, the last time we spoke, this bloke, David yeah. Witherden, was placed in charge of the yeah. clean up and rebuild, a public servant, appointed chief executive of the newly created Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation. Now, you were talking before about someone to wrap around and identify the problems. He had the power to compulsorily acquire or subdivide land, to fast track the building of new premises and, and accelerate this dreadful planning department. Hundreds of pages you've got to th go through. He was supposed to accelerate the delivery of planning proposals through the Department of Planning and Environment. Janelle, how many marks out of 10 would you give this bloke? For the, the land, he's got a resilient land program, 300 expressions of interest from our community and they're still working on it. So on that, at this stage, there's a zero, okay? Jeez. And the slowness of their program. Yes. The, yes. Yesterday, the first person accepted a buyback, the first person. First. Now, the That's state, just... yep, the first. The state took six months to get that together. It went oh. to the Commonwealth. They took a month. They come back with it. But it's just too slow. Oh. And I said See, to I'm them, sorry, Dominic Perrottet, you say out there, vote for us. I'm sorry, Dominic Perrottet, you don't have a clue. You don't have a clue about this. See, uh, Janelle, I read about, I've read everything on this, but the picture frame is Sheila Turner. But just for the benefit of our viewers, yeah. she left a shop she headed upstairs in the Strand Arcade. The dirty water was pouring in. She was trapped up there for four days, no hot water, no electricity. The phones were dead, no communication, four days. Janelle, she's a metaphor of the problem. Where is Sheila today? Sheila's resurrected her business in a different area, so she's gotten on with it. But, that, you know, there was a range of things that happened in between that. She was actually upstairs with my hairdresser, Nick, and his mother, <laughs> who were trapped there too for the four days. <laughs> Not that I've been there much, you can see, <laughs> in the last year. I need a visit, Alan. <laughs> you're, do you're doing okay. You're doing See, but listen, look, we just started the rugby league season. Bush footy. Yep. keeps communities together. The Northern Rivers Regional Rugby League Competition. Janelle, footy players yep. are still homeless up there. Some are without jobs. And as I understand it, there aren't any operational lights. Can you believe this? This is 13 years old. There are no operational lights on either Oaks Oval or Crozier Field. Mm -hmm. They're in the centre of the town. The season kicks off on April 16. Janelle, will the home grounds have change rooms with power and running hot water? Um, look, that's been slow, and if there was a big match to be played in Sydney, the lights would be working no matter what that's happened right. to them. I just, it's true, and I just come back to look. I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I get on well with people. I'm a collaborator. I cooperate. I've welcomed everything we've got, but I've hammered for what we haven't got. And I say this was our Tracy moment, Alan. You remember Cyclone Tracy, yes, Darwin? Yes, so do I. Yes. We need. That comprehensive That's response. Right. It's not too late. Thirteen they can months. Put their hand up now. See, for not people listening late, to this, Janelle, people listening to this, they're saying mm. it's over a year on. How do these things take so long? Now, Premier Perrottet was there recently, and he said that in driving to Lismore just a week ago, he had terrifying memories of the same drive a year ago, and he wanted people to know that he had he'd been back half a dozen times. Now, okay, he'd been back half a dozen times. What does Lismore have to show for that? It, look, it, it doesn't have to show this comprehensive wraparound package that mm. we need, you know, a response yeah. to it. As you said, it was Australia's biggest disaster in a lot, well, ever, or Cyclone Tracy too, fourth biggest in the world, mm. and we're being, we've got grants. Yes, we've got the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation. Yes, we've got people running around doing things, but we don't have the overarching, you know, like, as I said, we need an overarching recovery coordinator. We had one for a minute, and then they were spirited away, and we just need one. Give us a general. Yeah, I mean, 